Uh, okay, uh, well, I'm live. What's going on, ladies and gents? It's day 98. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, and let's go straight into it. Um, I did miss fleet rank 10 by 30 seconds. <laughs> so I missed the 100 crystal here. Uh, but we got 100, got 75 here. Uh, should have done this a little better. I still have one more attempt left. Uh, but you know, time is not always on your side. What is today? Today's the fourth. Okay. And let's just wait to see who show up. Okay. Got quite gone. Prestige. Gonna need a lot of those. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? What emoji is that? What's up, Wolfie? I might just buy the Zeta. Uh, or I could just wait a day. Oh, look at that. Gear 12 pieces. Okay. Um, that could be the very first piece of gear 12 piece I've seen. Uh, so I think I'm going to go for it. Sunfac. Not that one. Uh, I think it was this one, right? Okay, gonna go for it. Uh, I'll probably put my Geos to gear 12. After that, I'm not so sure. Uh, probably, I'll probably just stop at gear 12, to be honest. Uh, and earlier today, I just got Vader to gear 11. <laughs> this looks so strange. An Empire team with a gear 12 Vader, plus two green level 50 guys. Uh, but Vader is going to carry anyways. Golden eyeballs. Missing one here. Could actually farm that if I want. Missing 50. Uh, rarity required 7 stars. Uh, I am 4 shards away from 7 stars. Uh, so I'll just have to wait for that. What are these? Med pack. 60 of these. Okay. Uh, Mark 6 Joy Caller. Alright. Should have been buying these actually. 50. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? <laughs> let, me, let me just do this real quick. Just gonna go into my Discord. Uh, probably just gonna go to okay stream audio room. Let's see. Let's see if anyone joins us in the audio today. Put on speaker. Wait, there's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. What's a five hundred first? Uh, there's gotta be a way I can put it on the computer, right? I'm gonna try that. Let me actually leave. The Discord on my phone. Let me charge my battery though. Okay, it's charging. Spider Man No Way Home looks good. Uh, I might have seen one or two trailers, uh, but I haven't seen anything outside of Star Wars for a long time now. Uh, but I used to watch like Spider-Man, Superman, Deadpool, and all that. Okay, there we go, Discord. What I have window capture for this. I guess I'll just do a screen capture. Does that work? Hmm. Uh, 
I wonder. Does anyone know? Is anyone experienced with this? Question, can you give us the credits to buy emotes and stuff? Uh, as far as I know, the only way to earn credits is just by watching the stream. Uh, I don't believe there's a way for me to give people credits. Yeah, do a screen share. There's like window capture, so when I add a source, uh, there's an image source, obviously that's not it. Bra uh, browser source, uh, not it. Image slideshow, that's not it. Display capture, not gonna work. Game capture, uh, it doesn't really work. Audio input capture, maybe. Let me try that. Wait, would it be audio input or audio output? Probably audio output, right? I'm gonna try output for a second. Add source, uh, what is this? <laughs> I don't know. Internal microphone. That's an output. Okay. Global settings. What is that? Audio monitoring device. I uh, don't know what that is. Hold on a second. Let me go to my cantina, close that. Stream audio room. Okay, I'm inside. But what if people talk? Or hold on, what if I talk? And then... Okay, so if I stream the audio into Twitch, What if I speak into my mic, which comes out of the stream, which comes comes out of my OBS? What if it then duplicates it because I, I'm also speaking into Discord, if that makes sense. Hmm. Let me try this real quick. Wait, hold on, testing, testing. Audio output capture, what is that? Rename filters projector. No. Filters. No. Edit filters. Huh. Internal microphone. Uh, I usually watch Spider-Man No Way Home when I'm sick. Yes, output. Do you want me to join the VC? Uh, if you want to. Sand, Sand Hater 98? Is Sand Hater Anakin playing Swago? I think we're looking at Sand Hater on the screen here. Except the darker version of uh, the original Sand Hater. But I'm trying to figure out the audio thing. Uh, I will give it a shot in like three minutes. I'll be right back. I'm uh, going to use the bathroom real quick. And let me mute myself. Be right back.
Testing. Okay. Uh, I'm back. Uh, did you ever tell us what you were reading? Yeah, you missed it. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and see, or you could just tell me. So, what's in store, Annie, today, Annie? Well, um, today, some free bronze packs. <laughs> That's what's in store, Helix. Uh, but no, actually, hold on, yeah. 23k ally points, I'm probably going to spend some. Uh, but today, probably just going to do some like stuff regular stuff probably gonna try the the bounty hunter stuff and we'll pro probably try some uh arena stuff uh so yeah just a bunch of stuff uh gonna spend some energy as well let's see squads um i should really double farm some of these things some of these stuff upgrade Times five, okay. How'd you do in GC? Galactic Challenge? Um, I think I actually forgot to do it yesterday. <laughs> I streamed for like three hours, three and a half hours, uh, but I forgot to do it. Um, okay, gonna save that, save these. Probably some spend some uh, fleet energy. It's pretty easy. Give it a try. Any, please tell me. <laughs> Wait, tell you what? What's in store? Just some uh, some Zetas. I got red box and ice. Uh, what was I gonna buy or what was I gonna spend it on? Okay, this one right here. Yeah, I can't figure out. Does anyone know how to stream uh, the out uh, the auto output from Tw from uh, Discord into into uh, OBS and out to you guys? Oh, Helix! Thanks for the sub. I just saw that. I saw Jaxic subbed. Uh, apparently, you subbed right after, and somehow I missed that. I beat Relic Seven, uh, Relic Sevens with decent gear, bad batch, nice. Uh, let me check it out. This is gonna be fun though, uh, the uh, the bounty hunter one. I don't know which one I can beat. Probably just the first one. Han Solo. Not don't re don't actually really need him much at all, because uh, I'll, I'll just get some star Han Solo from guild raids. Uh, Leia Organa, Rolo. I. It would be nice. Um, I don't know if I can beat it though. Like, especially without Bosk. Uh, bonus for what? Clone Troopers? Okay. Oh, yeah, you got a Bad Batch team. Rebellious. Special dan special ability ally call ally to assist. Uh, whenever they attack out of turn, gain, gain stuff. Okay. Hello there, what's up, XOS? I don't, is is there some words hidden in there that I'm not seeing? Uh, but what's going on? Welcome to the stream. X-O-S-E-T-O-B-G. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably a word somewhere in there. Uh, but what's going on? How's How's it going? Whenever a clone trooper gains a buff that can be dispelled, they also gain a stack of Dauntless Courage. Uh, 
Rebel allies, hold on, what? Okay, that's a global. Oh, that's for the player. All right. Rebel allies gain blah, blah, blah. I don't have any rebel allies. I do have Phoenix. Or wait, hold on. No. Uh, it's got to be, it's the enemy uh, modifier. Could probably be one of these tiers, maybe gear 12. The rebel one doesn't help you, helps them, yeah. I, I just realized. Uh, what about the feats? Full team of clone troopers don't have that. Complete the battle, sure. Uh, complete the battle without losing a unit. Uh, it seems doable. Gaining stealth seems doable. Uh, so 3... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So to get the 50, I just need to complete tier tier 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, so it seems like I just need to complete this tier. Which I'm going to give it a shot with Geos. I think Spy is just going to gain 20 stealth ups or stealth buffs. Very easy GC, honestly. Uh, I don't know how Sabine would react to that comment. Nice, one shot. Well, decently. <laughs> Sabine is probably like, are you calling me easy, Helix? Decently easy. The height tiers are a pain. Oh, okay. So this, I mean, at least I have one shot at Kanan. And I think this will give me 50. Or at least it should. Okay, so I gain I gain stealth ten times, and we got oh we got sixty. All right, so if I were to get the seventy five one, which probably gives me an omega, okay, uh, I would have to beat like two more tiers, which means uh, a gear thirteen four zetas. I could I could try, but uh, don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, but I don't have any, uh, don't have any Bad Batch or Clone Troopers. Hmm. Could take out the DPS. Or it could take out Kanan first. Kanan is going to make everyone tough to kill, but... Actually, could probably take out these two first, I think. And let's go for Sabine. <laughs> oh no. You're gaining a lot of protection somehow, I think. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Uh, seems like Chopper's unique that's doing that. I just lost. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, I just lost two bugs. Sabine. Although I don't think I can even do any damage to, to, to any of these at gear 13. Oh no. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Wait, um, I already lost the brute. Hmm. Yeah, this is not... I don't think it's gonna work. Honestly, tier 10 took 50 tries for my Bad Batch. It's so aggressive. Yeah. Archer, isn't your Bad Batch like 3 stars, 4 stars-ish? Yeah, like, I can't one-shot any of them. <laughs> Which is not good. Three, four stars, yeah. Yeah, they do punch up quite a bit, though. 
It's a pretty solid team. Okay, I wonder if I can kill Ezra somehow. Right here. Uh, one more. Oh no. How did that not do any- how- that didn't take away anything. You guys saw that. He still had a bunch of buffs. Or maybe I didn't see it clearly, but... I feel like that would have one-shotted Ezra, right? Why don't you use blind, blind from Sun? Uh, I wanted to take away Chopper's buffs, because Chopper was taunted. And only Sunfax basic dispels, or GBA's basic, if he crits. Uh, but I just want to get rid of the taunt. Let's see if I can somehow... What is that, by the way? Crit chance, crit damage. If I can get rid of Kanan, I'll know. <laughs> but this is honestly, like, I'm gear, or I'm level 83. Like, I don't expect to, to be able to do much here, but, but I can try. Oh god. Wait, is this soldier? Okay. Like, this should one-shot him, right? Like, 100%? If it crits? Okay, there we go. That makes more sense. Oh my god. Well, hold on a second. Hera just one-shot at someone? Hera just one-shot at Spy. <laughs> well, hold on. That was not Spy. Oh my god. Do I have the bugs in the wrong order? I think I do. Oh god. Soldier. Sunfac. Uh, Lost Poggle. Okay. <laughs> this is bad. Like, without ability block, I feel like... I don't know, chances are probably slim. At least they don't have counterattacks from Kanan anymore, plus health regen. Uh, but this is this is not good. Wait, hold on, I can't even taunt? What just happened? one shot here uh i don't know though this is not looking okay no <laughs> uh yeah this is not good uh hold on did he taunt i don't know i don't think it matters too much though anymore yeah okay hmm Uh, but I think taking out Kanan is, is the way. Taking out Kanan first, and then the DPS. Okay, so that was a mass counterattack. I don't know if that was actually a good idea. I disagree. Like, because Kanan gives everyone counterattacks, right? 
I suggest DPS first, so that way they can't hurt you. Well, the thing is, if I keep on attacking Sabine to st to stun to stun the stat to stack the debuffs and stuff like that, she can just counter attack me to death, right? Like t without Kanan, they can't counter attack anymore. And as long as I have Sunfac or a uh, uh, Poggle, I can just ability block everyone. Or at least that's my line of thought. Sabine is the only AOE dealer here. You can blind her. True. Her AOE isn't evadable? Oh. Is it? You would know you would know Sabine better than anyone, Helix. Like here I could I could ability block someone. I should know this by now. <laughs> Correct Annie. But I still wanna keep on stacking on Kanan. It cannot be countered either. Yeah, I, I knew that part, I think. Oops. Uh, that. Really want to one-shot Kanan. Like, next turn. Right here. Okay, there we go. So now I can just spread the ability blocks on... Ezra or Sabine. I'm gonna taunt with Sunfac actually. Hold on, how how can I not uh oh wait hold on. This is not Sunfac. Okay, why is Sunfac back here? I think I forgot the, the turn order again or the placement order. Uh held for reason restricted by what is this? Suspicious user? <laughs> Why? Uh, how do I let that show? Wait, Helix, do you see that? Or is it just me? Apparently there's a suspicious user, but I don't think that's suspicious. Yeah, hang on, okay. Well, uh, John asked me, do you think he will still play this game for a long time? Honestly, uh, I don't know is probably the best answer I can say. <laughs> like, do I enjoy the game? Yes. Uh, which means, in theory, uh, I should be able to play for a long time, but... Why is it got my name? Maybe because I'm the only mod here right now. There we go. Should be undone. Uh, but you know, you never, you never know what's gonna happen in life. Uh, but I'll, tr I'll try to, to be here, uh, whenever I can. WTF? <laughs> you should be able to talk now, John. Ouch. No debuff, wow. Yeah, I think I have the order all screwed up. Uh, but it's, it's alright though. Here we go, ability block. Well, there goes Sabine. Uh, and I think we won. I think we won. Okay, yeah. Alright. Uh, can probably just put on... Actually... Okay, let's, let's manual this. Two turns. Oh, 
Oh, and I'm gaining 20 stacks of these. So I think at 20 stacks, um, 20 stacks is a max, okay. Here goes Hera. I might get Harris Zeta next. Uh, do you have Kana Zeta? Haven't done it apparently. Cause uh, I took a look at Phoenix Zetas and I feel like Kanan's might be the best. Oh no. Chopper's still alive. <laughs> I have all Phoenix Zetas but Hera and Ezra. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe Harris would be better in this case. Because I think Ezra just does more damage, right? Doesn't really do anything else. And I think Harris Zeta, like, grants a cooldown or something. Yeah, that's a decent Zeta. Okay, there we go. Chopper's dead. I'll grab Ezra's last because he's still 5 stars. Oh, I see. Okay, so... Uh, oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Did I miscalculate? I miscalculated. He's just the fifth slot for my Phoenix lineup in GAC nowadays. I see. Uh, Kazu moves Sabine with uh, other uh, bounty hunters, or uh, not bounty hunters, Mandalorians, right? Sabine is with my mandos, yeah. Ooh, Ezra, Ezra Zeta is hmm, something. I wish it. Hold on, do I have a clone trooper? I don't think I do. I don't. I don't think I do. Clone trooper. I. I mean, a wrecker. <laughs> Not even a full team. If Harris Omicron is busted, she might go back. Hopefully, I don't know. There's like, is there a reveal yet on Harris Omicron ability? I don't think so. I don't think uh, there's they they've said anything yet, right? Um, but I think I might have to try to beat this tier. <laughs> Hold on, what's the difference? There's no difference, right? Eighty-five, gear thirteen. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a, a an increase. Maybe slightly tougher. Uh, but let's try this one. They messed up on a feet. What do you mean by that? TB is supposed to be three gear thirteenth, th three gear thirteenth, uh, two gear twelves. Uh, well, there goes my brute. Actually, hold on, I gotta go back. T8? Wait, T8? Tier, oh, tier 8, okay. 5, 6, 7. Tier 8 is supposed to be 3 gear 13s, 2 gear 12s. Uh... Tier 8 is meant to be all gear 13s and Zeta. Tier 7 is the 3 gear 13, 2 gear 12, tier 7, 5, 6, 7. This one right here, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess, because it doesn't make sense to have like the same uh, for tier 7 and tier 8. Hopefully they're the same power level. Uh, yeah, this is not the right order. <laughs> There we go. Sunfax Soldier, there we go. Uh, previous tier, but they messed up on it. Yeah, I, it's probably something happened there. No, I checked it. Tier 8 has slightly more speed. Intri oh, no. I can see that. <laughs>
I wonder if. Okay, yeah, I have to summon the brute. Um. All right. It's a lot of buffs. I don't like it. All right, no counter attack. That's nice. Uh, just actually gonna do this actually all right cool hmm is that a risky move might be but chopper is gonna dispel this right or chopper is gonna dispel one of these two if I go taunt with Sunfac. oh man Even though, okay, so they only have basic, so it's not going to matter too much. But still, the safer bet is probably just uh, one of these. I don't think he's ready to be one-shotted yet. Uh, still not, but I'm going to go. Yeah, that, that, that didn't actually do anything. <laughs> that was terrible. Counter-attack. Oh, man. Kana should have lost more health there. Maybe I just didn't crit. So much turn meter gain. Okay, see if I can bring Kanan down a little bit more. Uh, I'll just let those live. Should probably ability block Sabine though, right? I think I should. Counter attack. Yeah, so when she counter attacks, she basically pretty much one shot in my brute. Ouch. Hopefully I can watch Akana here. What is that noise? Oh, Jaxic is here. Uh, let's bring him on. Uh, I'll, although I don't know how to set it up here in in uh obs does anyone know i was trying to figure it out earlier okay yeah not enough to one shot kanan that's that's gonna be a problem hmm hold on testing uh so mike slash ox works what about screen capture? Screen capture, what if I turn that to um, Discord, done. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing. Does that work? Wait, Jaxic, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, can you like say just a few words, rent some anything? I can. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'm just looking at the audio turn meter, or uh, not turn meter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. The I'm audio, first. the audio thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think. Wait. Can you guys hear Jaxic? Because right. if that works, I'm just not gonna use my phone. Okay. I'm just looking at the audio turn meter, or uh, not. <laughs> Uh, I hear my stream from somewhere. Yeah, it's coming from mine. It's just that kind of sign up. Gosh, dang it. I'm going to mute the stream because I'm not afraid to talk it. Okay. Well, hopefully yeah. hopefully that'll fix it. Yeah, it should fix it. It's, it's just mine. I went to change my name in Twitch, and then uh, I forgot that I had the audio running, and then you jumped over into back into Discord, and I unmuted. Okay. Uh... 
let me go on to Twitch just to just to make sure that your audio is working. Yeah, I'm about to pop a headphone in, so that should help too. Okay, Twitch. Uh, what just happened here? I'm almost dead. <laughs> Wait, are you guys there still? Do you guys hear Jaxic? I switched devices too. Okay. Hear Jaxic? Oh yeah, it's there. I yeah, I still hear it. Yeah. Wait, are you, you still, still hear an echo? Do you guys hear Jaxic? Uh one second. I switched devices too. Okay, so I hear your voice fine on my stream. Uh, but there is echo though from my stream somewhere. It's looping somehow. That's weird. I jumped over to my. I have Twitch open on my uh, computer and I, j I opened Discord in my phone, but I have Twitch muted too, so. Hmm. I don't think I hear any more though, so I think we might be good. Sorry, I was fighting a GG team in Arena. I lost very barely, but was still fun. Yeah, GG is kind of a pain to deal with. Uh, wh who, who counters GG? Uh, Night Sisters counter GG. Uh, Boas counters okay. Night Sisters. I want to say... What's that? It seems like uh, Gas Heart counters and uh, SE plus Malik, whatever SE means. <laughs> Medium counters Daka, uh, Galactic Republic, uh, MT, whatever MT means. Basila, uh, Darth Revan, JKR, plus Shock T, plus Shock T. Soft counters CLS, soft counters Treya. I don't have any of those teams. <laughs> so I, I would just be CLS. What's that? Yeah. I've been able to knock out uh, Grievous with Padme. Yeah, uh, Boba's bot or Boba's counter says Padme should be a medium counter. Yeah, usually I, I'll, I'll lose like one or two units, but um, hmm. the core of the Padme team, like Snips, Anakin, and Padme, all stay alive. I see. Uh, I think I might just be dead here. <laughs> BB <laughs> is a literal direct counter to GG. BB Bad Batch? Yeah, I'm bad about. Interesting. Uh, bad batch should, is disgusting. They should update the bot. Okay, so if I just do this, I I'll just die. I'm I'm like pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> so I kind of have to heal. Uh, wait, hold on. What's the timer? Eleven minutes. Yeah, because the kit has heavy separatist counter. Interesting. I'm just going to heal. Like, if I can stack 20 debuffs or something, should be able to one-shot Kanan. Uh, but at this pace, I don't think it's going to happen. I had to step away. What are you fighting him with? Geos? GLs, yeah. Oh, yeah. Against Phoenix. Gear 13 Phoenix. Rough. Hmm. I I don't understand why people take Phoenix that high. <laughs> uh, it's it's the uh, Galactic Challenge. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, if that's arena, that's gross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still see it in arena. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No one shot. I got Kanan down to like 20% health ish, uh, and now I'm dead. Hmm, what can I do? Changing my name to Jaxic on Twitch so it's easier. Okay. Crit damage, uh, that's that's good. Offense, uh, can't really change much. Offense, speed, protection, defense. 
Hmm. Crit chance is nice. Crit chance, offense. Uh, it's got flat offense and percent offense. What about this? Speed, protection, protection, doesn't really matter. Uh, can't slice that too much. Doesn't have useful secondaries. Do I have a better triangle? Are you looking at spy right now? Spy, yeah. Crit damage. What are you running on him right now for your triangle? Uh, crit damage. I'm yeah, trying to right see right. if I can get more or get better secondaries. Okay, so I got two. This one gives me speed, defense, defense, offense. That's better already. Okay, yeah, that's already better. <laughs> Crit damage, what about this one? Health, offense, flat offense, 39 offense. What tier are you up to in the Galactic Challenge? Uh, I think tier 8. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm miles. I'm stuck at, uh, at box 7. That's the highest I'm going to get. I see. What is box? Oh, uh, wait, box 7? Yeah, it's the last box before you get the second Omicron. Oh. I was really hoping I could get past it, but there's no way I can make up enough points. I just don't have the roster for how many? Out. How many key cards is that? Uh, it's like 125, I want to say. Interesting. Something like that. Oh, yeah, I guess I can check my other account. I have it open. <laughs> okay. I'm waiting for blue stacks to load up. Huh, might be time to slice this. I know, it's 110 key cards. My bad. What's that? 110 key cards. 110, to get okay. Eight. Yeah. Uh, got speed. <laughs> speed got defense. No, come on. Uh, it's probably not worth slicing any further at this point. I don't have many of these. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> A useless defense stat. Yeah. I was hoping it was going to land on offense. Uh, landed on speed uh the first time, which is okay. Defense, second time, and I just stopped. I got red box, smiley face. I don't know why people take Phoenix so high. Casually sips drink. <laughs> yeah, I've seen yeah, I've yeah. seen some hardcore Phoenix fi uh, Phoenix fans, like in beginner squad arena, especially when I made this account, who like right away they took Phoenix to gear twelve ish. Yeah, I've even yeah, seen Relic Terra. That's what I, I did that on my, well, I didn't take him to gear 12. I took him to gear eight and nine so that I could unlock Thrawn. No once I unlocked Thrawn, I just abandoned them. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I did on my main. They're a defensive team. And the funny thing is, is every now and then they actually get a hold. And I think it's because people try to undersize Phoenix all the time. Yeah. And they just get in over their head. Underestimate. Streamer mode enabled is an a is enabled. Stay safe, friend. <laughs> what does that even mean? You know what the funny thing is? I ground my bad batch up to two star just to unlock all of them on my alt. Right. And I was actually able with gear eight bad batch. I was able to clear the level six of this event on my alt. Nice. Yeah. I was like, what? One, bad two, batch is way overpowered. Four, five, six. So that gives you like almost 20 key cards. Wow. For what? The Galactic Challenge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was able to. I'm sitting at 90 key cards total right now with only tier 6 cleared. Nice. Yeah, I have 16 all the way up to tier 6. And then I haven't even tried to hit the tier seven because I need twenty more key cards to get to the tier eight box, and I would pretty much have to be able to clear the tier eight I see. of the event. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. I think I tried, but with uh, with with what team? Geos. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm trying only... right now. Yeah, my geos are all gear ten and eleven. And my brood is only six stars still. Yeah, actually, I think I might get him to seven stars today, though. Oh, nice. He's at, yeah, he's at 78 shards, and I'm going to do three refreshes in Cantina. So, we'll see. Yeah, my... 
What's that? In about an hour and a half. <laughs> I see. Yeah, my my brood alpha is uh, five st or six or uh, what star was? I think he's five stars. Yeah, he's he's five stars. Uh, but I feel like if I can one shot Kanan, which I tried, I I tried a bunch of times, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, there might be a chance. Yeah, I've just been like now that they've announced the whole changing of the grand arena i'm really not taking arena seriously and i haven't put anything into my i'm gonna take the geos to gear 12 so that i can hit the lot yeah um, yeah that's that's my plan as well for the geos Oops. yeah and plus i'm gonna use malevolence as my main fleet yeah me too oh speaking of that uh i should probably buy some uh, malevolence blueprints on my main account oh yeah I'm really close. I uh, didn't we calculate yesterday or last night that I just need one more thing. You you have enough. You don't even. I don't even think you need. You might need one more territory battle. Yeah, yeah territory battle. That's what I meant. Battle. But you're like a couple hundred <laughs> away. Like you're you're really freaking close. Malevolence. I just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so I am one two. Uh, I'm twenty three shards away oh man yeah i'm sitting let's see where am i on all with my other ones so i'm yeah i'm one more territory war away because uh, i only have four thousand left which is only it's it's barely enough for me to get 15 more blueprints uh, but i need eight more after that oh man yeah, yeah one more territory battle and you'll have it hopefully that happens soon uh, I, let me pull up the calendar. I'll let you know when the next one's happening. Because right now, it, it's... Oh my god, I forgot to set defense for Territory War. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, you got time. It doesn't start for like another 15 hours or so. Yeah, but I, I set my defense on the back wall. Uh, so hopefully it's not... It is filled, Dan. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna ask my officer. <laughs> give me, give me a second, okay. guys. Well, uh, in the meantime, let's look at. I'll look at the calendar and go through the calendar real quick to okay. see what's coming next. Uh, uh, State of the Galaxy. So, event calendar. We have. Oh man, I gotta... Uh, the next territory battle is... on the 7th. Oh yeah, it's right after this territory war. Right after, uh, like how many... It, it shouldn't take too long, I guess. Days. Yeah, so it'll be done in about... Well, it'll be done in about 10 days. <laughs> You'll have your malevolence. Nice. Wow. Yeah, so you'll have it, you should have it in time for the next, uh, for Grand Arena. Nice. Yep. Not, did not expect that to happen this fast. Did I miss anything? Uh, do you have a F2P account? Yeah, this, this is 100% free to play. File first. What gear level are all your geos right now? Um, I think as high as I can get them to at the moment. So gear, uh, gear love gear ten for Sunfac. I think everyone's gear ten except soldier. Soldier's gear eleven. Oh yeah, that's that's where I'm at too. I'm like missing one or two gear pieces on all of them still, but okay. Makes me wonder if I might be able to clear higher in this uh thing because I hadn't even really tried much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I just started trying today too because I apparently I forgot to do it yesterday. Hmm.
Yeah, if you're looking for an easy team to use in GAC, just to give yourself an extra easy team that you can grind up to gear 8 and they'll be effective in about two weeks. Um, Bad Batch Ooh, is kind of surprising. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the thing is, I don't have any Bad Batch, though. Neither did I, and I had this weird period where I was like, I just want to grind Bad Batch, so I, I started hitting them, and I just unlocked them all at two stars. And, uh, which, I guess it might have taken about three weeks, but I took them up to gear eight, and that was all I had is two-star gear eight Bad Batch. And they'll, they're only like 30,000 GP. I, I threw Commander Cody in with them. But I'll take out like 50k, 60k Phoenix teams with them on my free to play hmm. in Territory Wars. Yeah, yeah. Like I've always been pretty tight on the farms, so I never yeah. like I I don't even have enough energy to farm what I want to farm. Uh, but but yeah, like otherwise I would probably farm like some other characters. Probably mostly for my Ray though in the future. Yeah, I mean, I feel the pain there. I'm stuck hitting IG-86's node. Basically, Vulture Droid and Hyena and probably going to set a Star Wars. I'm only about 150 shards off for both of them, but... Nice. That's a that's a tall order. <laughs> yeah. Come on, or who's talking? Uh, is Jaxic, or, or Jaxic? Jaxic. Yeah. Do people just call you Jax? Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, what did you say about buying Malevolence? Uh, I, I'm i pretty close to Malevolence. I should get it within a week on my main account. Can't confirm BB good. Uh, who's talking? Your mother? <laughs> Come on, Helix, that was not needed. It was. Well then. At least my mother got... <laughs> Oh man, gotta wait two more turns. Not gonna sweep here. Cause I'll probably just die. <laughs> I wonder... Do you have Django? Uh, I do. Like the, the Newt-Django combo? Uh, I don't have Newt, though. Oh, man. Yeah. It's a solid combination. Uh, wouldn't... Oh my god, Sabine just wrecked my whole team with that AoE. Uh, should have yeah. probably ability blocked her, but... Let's see if I can still... Or wait, hold on, I lost Spy. Alright. Like, if I went for Sabine, she's just gonna counterattack my whole team to death. Unless you can, uh, one-shot her off. Yeah, uh, but I don't think that's very likely, though. I didn't even take a turn and they just wiped my whole team. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna try try with Django. Okay. Oh no, it's not gonna be enough. Do you have Django with a with a Zeta? Or with with the Omega? That reduces percent health? Um my, the only abilities that so I don't I'm missing his Zeta and I didn't take his leadership up at all. Everything else is maxed. Oh nice. Yeah. The flame thing is, uh, is an Omega, right? Yeah, it's an Omega. His Zeta is the one that prevents revives, just like Boba Fett. It's okay. the same Zeta. I wish I could stay, but got to go. See ya. Alright, well, see you 501st. Oh no, again. <laughs> this is not looking good. 
Yeah, I'm not even. I think you're. Oh no, that's about how mine starts off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got close to one shotting Kanan like twice or three times now. Uh, don't know how I would actually do it though. Yeah. I think, uh, I think it would be doable at 85 of gear 12. Yeah, yeah. Board, but, yeah. I think so. Like, I know that I can finish the tier 7 one. I just haven't done it because I need to clear the tier 8 to get to the, you know, the, the next box. Tier eight. Yeah, to get to box 8, and I can't clear tier 8, so there's no point in me even putting the time and effort into tier 7. Right. Uh, just gonna ability Sabine. Ability block Sabine. Okay. That's actually probably a bat taunt, but I'm gonna roll with it. <laughs> Like, hopefully somebody's gonna dispel here. Chopper, maybe. I don't know. Oh, Sunpack's taunt? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, if he dispels it, everyone... Oh, damn. Yeah, everyone's gonna gain all the buffs. Yeah. This might be the chance. This might be it. Oh, no. <laughs> so close. Can you eat? Oh, no. Oh, wait. Ooh, nope. Yeah. Dang, man. He's just like... Cannon is rough. Yeah, now he's gonna gain full health whenever he does anything. Or well, whenever I maybe, attack. Maybe you should have tried to take out Ezra right there. Take out Ezra? I don't know if I can do that, though. Like, with the next... Uh, when Spy got his... His yeet ability In up. two turns. I'm yeah. afraid, same with not attacking Sabine, like I'm afraid Ezra is just gonna counter attack every, everyone to death. Well, if you if you can one shot him though, because Hannon has a way higher hit point pool and he's got the, his unique is, granted they all share uniques, but they don't share every part of their uniques. Uh, Ezra does have full protection though, so I would have to, uh, chip away some of his protection first, which means he's going to counter-attack a lot of times. Yeah, that's true. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there goes, uh, there goes Sunpack. Got this belt, though. Uh, but now, just, oh my god. <laughs> Sabine just one shot in my four of my geos. Hmm. It just seems it seems like I may have to taunt with Sunfac and let that taunt expire so so Spy gains the extra buffs and then one shot Kanan. I feel like that might be the only possibility. Yeah, I'm kinda thinking you're right. Armor shred though on Sunfac. <laughs> That's not yeah, good. Yeah, so your mods are better. On, I think your mods are better set up than mine are too. Uh, for uh, like for for Sunfac or or what do you mean? Just across the board, your survivability on your geos is a lot better than mine. I see. Yeah, I but, uh, put protection mods everywhere uh, that I can. Oh yeah. Like yeah, the circles. I've been, I've been putting a lot of mods into the General Grievous team. I see, I see. Yeah. Because there's no point in putting those Zetas on Grievous if I don't have at least B1 and Magna Guard, or B2 and Magna Guard to go with them. Is it worth putting the Zetas on Grievous just for Malevolence? Oh, yeah. The amount of galactic power that it increases the Malevolence by is uh, worth it. It's pretty. Yeah. Okay. Because I think those two Zetas will take Grievous up like 8,000 GP or something stupid. Nice. Not gonna one shot here, but. Oh, that actually got close. Wow. 
He was at half protection and he went down to like half health. Yeah, I'd step away. I would eat dinner on the oven. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Let's go back. Oh man, yeah. If Sabine opens with that AOE, uh, I'm just kind of dead. Yeah, she's just—it's such a strong AOE. Yeah. Oh god. Rudolph a gone right away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. You have both of the Zetas on GBAP, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, see, I'm only rocking one of them. Yeah, it helps a tiny bit. Uh, it depends on the matchup, but like for uh, for uh, for mirror matches, uh, I think it helps decent, quite decently. Uh, because the hive mind bonuses, I think they count as buffs. That's how I. Uh, I believe they do. Yeah, because whenever they have two, two, or whenever my opponent, when I used to only have one Zeta, uh, whenever the opponent had two Zetas, they just hit way harder. Oh god. Wait, does someone on the Phoenix squad have a mass assist? How do um, they just... There's two different assists. Oh, 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 I got it. Ezra. I think, I think, I think Ezra assisted Kanan and then Chopper went as well. So that seemed yeah, like Chopper. a mass assist. Yeah. Yep. That's probably what happened because Chopper randomly assists and he randomly grants buffs too. Yeah. Still going, huh? Yeah. The, I got close to one-shotting Kanan like four times now. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Oh, I should have taunted it with Sunfack. Oh well. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Hera, like, Hera does a lot of damage as well. At gear 13, or at least here. Yeah, well, if she's doing her like little assist thing, I think they both get uh, increased offense. Like the thing where she calls someone to assist. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, not even close. <laughs> Uh, probably cleanse. Might have to taunt here, but I'm probably dead. Try to Billy block Ezra. Okay, there we go. Don't counterattack me. Well, there's the brute. One more turn. Oh no, Sabine just counterattacks uh, my brute to death from full health. <laughs> oh lord. Wow. Yeah. It's it's it's. It's crazy. Uh, could save it. I'm gonna go for it though. Oh my god, I took out Kanan. 
actually Maybe forgot Keenan. What's that? Maybe that's the one you needed. Yeah. Well, uh, now we have a chance. <laughs> Everyone else still alive besides uh, besides the brute, which is fine though. Oh no, didn't one shot Ezra. Ha! It's funny because the stream is like five seconds behind the Discord chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you said that, and I was like, "Oh, he's about to eat him." <laughs> and then I realized what you were talking about. Yeah. Uh, could probably just attack Ezra to death. He's not gonna recover anymore because Kanan's not here anymore. Yeah. Uh, there's the brute. I think I just won. I think he did. This is great. <laughs> no, gets you the tier seven box, right? Uh, the one that's at eighty-five key cards. Yeah. That yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, no. the next one's like 110. Yeah, something like that. Uh, Sabine almost just killed my Sunfak. Wow. Well, there goes Sabine. Uh, could probably put on auto, but uh, I'm just going to uh, manual for a while. Have hmm, you ever I played the Ewoks? Have I played the Ewoks? Yeah. I have not. Uh, on my main account, I'm planning to go for Ewoks eventually when I need C-3PO. It's the most nerve-wracking experience ever because so much of their effectiveness depends on like 60% RNGs. <laughs> huh. It's so annoying. So like, you, if you get a perfect run, it's like the coolest thing ever. But if RNG doesn't work with you, oh, it's miserable. Hmm. I'm uh, gonna heal, just to be safe. Oh no, backup plan. <laughs> Should have Billy blocked Hera. I'll just give Chopper two turns. Actually, it's probably a bad idea. I'm just gonna go for Chopper. Yeah, Chopper's annoying though, because he replenishes that health and protection at the start of each turn. Uh, I think... Or is it... Health as well? Or I thought that was from <laughs> Zed. Or was is it not? Oh yeah, okay, you're maybe right. Chopper. Yeah. I don't know. Backup plan. Oh wait, hold on. Did he just get backup plan? I don't know. Now I'm confused. Uh, I'm just gonna get Chopper anyways. Here goes one time. I know he recovers protection whenever he has lost protection. Oh no. Oh, corner. Okay, so that's not a backup plan. It's the same animation. Oh god. Yeah, it's the little buff from the event or from the challenge. Like, when Hera waved her hands, I thought she put back a plan, but that was really just the assist. <laughs> well, there we go. We did it. Probably gonna put this up as a highlight. That was that was quite difficult to beat. Now you gotta beat the next one. <laughs> What's that? Now you gotta beat the next one. <laughs> <laughs> one day. Uh, well, there we go. Ninety-five crate. Yeah, get the next one gear. is fourteen. I need fourteen more. I don't think it's possible. They're relic three. 
Oh my god, I'm actually two tiers away from uh, the Max one. Yeah. Uh, they are Relic 7, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do some Galactic Wars. It's probably the only time you'll ever see Relic 7 Phoenix Squad. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that and Conquest. Conquest, yeah. This is gonna be so much easier than that. Oh god. <laughs> oh, you're doing your Galactic War climb? Yeah. I just I just put on auto, basic. Yeah, that's what I do too. So I was happy that I could get the Geos early because when, <clears throat> and I know you're in the same boat when, when we started these free to play accounts, probably around the same time. Yeah. Uh, when we started them, you had to still get your 50 wins before you could sim. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I got that with my Phoenix. Uh, I think I only lost one battle with Phoenix. I got it about a week before they changed the thing over. I was so happy, and then I was so mad the next week. <laughs> <laughs> I guess... I think they should have... What's that? I was going to say, I think they should have done it the other way around, where once you get 50 wins, regardless of your level, you can send it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but also then, I guess, if if anyone's got any kind of synergy team, they should be able to get 50 before they hit 85. Yeah. It does help newer players who maybe didn't know what they were doing at the beginning and didn't get 50 wins. Which is not bad, either. Yeah, it also... I mean, the reason that they did it was, was because they were about to sell the hyperdrive bundles. Oh. Or do that, uh... What I see, I see. Did. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what... That was, like, the, the strategic move. They could could have also just put that feature within the hyperdrive. Just free sims everything. Including right. Galactic Wars. Bastila. Oh, pre-taunt. Wait, okay, so... Oh, two taunts. Basilisk leadership Zeta gives pre-taunts? Or, does she have two Zetas? I'm not really sure. I've never used her. I mean, I, I have I have a 7-star Basilisk that's tier 8, but I've never actually... Um, looked in her Zeta, because I haven't gone for... Whatchamacallit yet? Revan? Yeah. I see. But I'll go read it real quick. I wonder how, or I know her leadership Zeta gives tenacity. It probably also grants pre taunts. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, her leadership Zeta adds one turn taunt on Jedi tank allies at the start of the encounter. I see. And adds 150% tenacity with protection up. I see. And that's yeah, the so, that's the only Zeta she has, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah, it is. Huh? Let me get on to Swigo GG just to confirm that, because her unique is a level eighty-two ability. I only have her at uh, level eighty still. So. Okay. Not a whole lot of effort goes into her on my account right now, on either of them. Yeah, me either. On my main, I have her at gear 8-ish as well. Not even level 85. Ah, uh, yeah, she, uh... No, she's only got the one Zeta, her leader. I see. She, like, she does do work, though, in, in Lysite Hoth. 
Oh, yeah. For me. I mean, she does work in Grand Arena if you just need to clean someone up and you got those true, true. excess Jedi laying around. Yeah. Because she can make it to where, like, you finish with full protection and full health. Right. IG... IG-88 lead. <laughs> plus Vader, plus crew, plus fives. Hey, it's better to be lucky than good. What's that? <laughs> I do laugh sometimes at the teams that you run into in this, though. Yeah. I don't think they're all like player teams. Uh, some of some of these teams might just be randomly generated. Maybe. That's what it feels like sometimes, but I don't know. There's some. Most of the arena shards do have some stuff down in the abyss. That's like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, it could be. I guess. I'd really like to add like a Galactic War mode for ships, though. Oh, that would be fun. Like even I think it just with... makes sense. It it would, I guess. Um, but but then but then it would probably have to be unlocked after you hit sixty five or something or or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, the thing about ships is that. Like, Galactic War gives you the opportunity to test teams and stuff. That's true, yeah. But we don't really have that for ships That's outside true. of Arena. That's true. Yeah, that would be cool. Like, even with the minimum rewards, like, I feel like people would still play. Yeah. And then all you need There's is a Hound's Tooth to carry. <laughs> At the beginning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's how I unlocked uh, all of the fleet shards. I see. I just used Executrix and Hamstead. <laughs> yeah. Because everyone else could die. Right. And Hamstead would still <laughs> would stay alive, and then Executrix yeah. would just ultimate and everything ult. off the field. Right. Sometimes I'd have to do, like, two or three ultimates, but it, eventually it'd get there. Wow, that's a lot of ults. Yeah, well, it goes fast after your whole team died. Hmm. And then... I would just manually do, you know, the five runs a day until I could three-star on. I see. Which ones are so, you manually doing? Like the, the level five. The ones that I couldn't three-star. But I could clear with Houndstooth and Executrix. Oh, okay. I, I thought there's like a level 5, some sort of heart, heart node uh, farm that you're trying to farm. Oh, yeah, there was at the time I was trying to farm Nest. Oh, I see, I see. You know, eventually I 3 starred that node and I went back and 3 starred Shock T and B1. Yeah. Trying to do an early gas push. On oh my, my god. An Imp Trooper team. So, so, some was, sort of. Plus Grand Moff Tarkin. Oh yeah. That's, well, at least it's Grand Moff Tarkin and not Moff Gideon. Yeah. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, uh, I'm preloaded. So. Who do I even kill? Veers first? Um... Or does it matter? Either. I don't think it really. I think yeah. I don't think it really does because Beers' lead is his lead out. I think his lead's the one that provides the speed boost. I think he does have a, a speed boost. I mean, you need. Let me go check. 
I mean, they're they're pretty squishy, but like, how do you normally deal with that imp trooper team? Well, I kill Piet first. <laughs> Piet. But this guy doesn't have a Piet, so. Right. Usually it's like Tar uh, Gideon, then Piet is who I usually aim for, and then after that they just fall. It doesn't matter what you do. Okay. Rears is another is a good one to to go after shortly after though because he uh his special calls someone to assist. Hmm. Well, there we go. What is this? Free energy? Nice. Oh, I haven't even done my second squad arena for the dailies. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I probably should have, because <laughs> I don't think I made it into top 100 today, uh, but I, I didn't have time to. Yeah, my top, like, I, I, I can get top 200 if I'm smart about it, but that's the best I can do them on. Yeah, I feel like if you had two Zetas, you might be able to get into top 100. I probably could. I just don't want to put... I'm trying not to right. concentrate that many Zetas yeah. this early in the game. When I had one Zeta, I've gotten into top 100 a few times, uh, but after I got two, it's it's easier. Yeah, well, like if I was going to concentrate two Zetas into one one person, it would honestly. It's either going to be General Grievous is probably going to get him because I'm more Makes I'm sense. more concerned with fleets than I am squad arena right now. Yeah. Um, and then that, I mean, General Grievous, even a four-star General Grievous with both of his Zetas, and then all my other droids are seven-star, so uh, it'll be a, a solid team still. Mm -hmm. But the team that really deserves two Zetas that early on is the Padme team. Both leadership? Or uh, both, both Padme? Uh, yep, both on Padme. Hmm, I wonder if... I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> First team, order team. That team can put up, yeah, that team can put up such high damage numbers compared to other teams at their gear level that it's like it just makes total sense. Oh, I, I'm like talking about. Uh, I'm. I, I was. I was saying I was gonna go for uh, against this first order team. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, go. I'm probably gonna end up taking my Padme team up shortly after I uh, finish Gear 12 Geonosians. Nice. Because by then I'll have uh, General Kenobi unlocked. Mm hmm. The problem with the Padme team, though, is that it needs a lot of Zetas. Right, for an right. Early team. Oh my god, no ability block. I I guess I'll just kill the first order executioner. I hate this team. <laughs> Going up against them or Yeah, with Geos cuz they'll take so many turns and it, and they won't they won't do anything, but they'll just waste a lot of time. Yeah. Here we go. Just the uh, crew and uh, Kylo left. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no this guy's got so much damage wait how did that how did that happen I wasn't even paying attention my daughter was talking to me
I see. Holy crap. I see what's going on now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is why, do you remember when I was talking last night about using Kylo Ren, a Gear 12 Kylo Ren, and like a crap team around it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kylo exactly Ren. I thought you meant crew. Well, crew. Both. Both, honestly. Okay. Because Kylo Ren, like, mask, um, can actually solo a lot of teams early on in the game. Oh my god. I don't know if you just saw that, but... I did. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I just did. That was, like, nothing. Did no damage. <laughs> Holy crap. You gotta get rid of crew first, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because once he's gone, his unique will be out of play. And I think his unique is the one that's keeping uh, Kylo Ren alive. Is it? Yeah, I okay. think so. Uh, this is not looking good. You could probably auto it, honestly. And then it's going to do the right thing. I think he... If I don't watch Kylo Ren, he might want shot something. Like, he watched out of my brute uh, a few turns ago. Oh, snap. Yeah. With his third ability, though. He might be able to kill. Uh... Here we go. Oh, nice. Now just auto it. Uh, yeah. Because you're about to run out, of, run out of time on this one. <laughs> yeah, I think it should be fine, though. I just need yeah. one more one more second from Spy. Here we go. Yeah, and that'll reduce his turn meter by one, or his, uh... Cool down, is. yeah. Nice. Yeah, the mirror matches, like, are tricky, but sometimes I can, like, be some gear 12s. Yeah, I hate the Gene Ocean mirror matches. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what I could... Okay, I'm not level 84 yet, but, like, I'm about to hit level 84, and, and once I do, I could, like, 12 Omegas. Okay, I, I could put Merciless Massacre on Vader and see what happens. Yeah, see, that's why I'm, I'm honestly holding on to Merciless Massacre right now. My alt can apply two full Zetas, but I just... I don't know if I want to apply it to Vader, because my Vader on my alt is... He's almost seven stars, but he's still gear, like, eight. I see. Yeah, he, yeah. my Vader yesterday was level 50, gear seven-ish. And I just brought him up to gear 11. <laughs> Damn, nice. Yeah. And he's uh, he's he's not missing too many pieces from Gear Twelve. He's missing one of these, uh, forty of these purple stuff, and uh, some of these. Okay, he's missing a little bit. Yeah, I mean, honestly, where you, I definitely hold on to that merciless masker and give it to him once you get up there, because you have the gear level on it. Yeah. Even at six stars, and you're almost seven stars, right? Uh, four blueprints away, so. Oh yeah, and I think you'll get that when you hit level 84, I think you get more, er, I could be wrong. If yeah, you I, don't I, get it when you hit level 84, there will be some event that it'll open, that hitting level 84 opens, and once you clear it, it'll give you five Vader shards, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Uh, it, it could be these, right? It could be these challenges. Yeah, some, something to do with the challenges. Uh, but I do know once I hit 85... I'll I'll get prob I'll probably get like seven Vader shards, or something. Yeah, you will. I think it's actually ten. It's yeah, there. It should be like the top objective in your it's, objectives. Yeah, it's it's five and three Omegas, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, my alt reset happens in about forty five minutes, and I am excited. Well, that's early. Yeah, well, I do mine, so I reset my time on mine. Um, my main, for me, my main resets at 8 in the morning, and my alt resets at 8 in the evening. Which would not be. Your squad arena payout is at 2, fleet is at 3? Yeah. Yeah, my, my alt is, like, not bad in the middle of the day. I can usually get to it. 
my okay. main account, I just have to spray and pray before I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been, I, st I can still take like in the top five, and that's all I really care about is getting into the top five. I see. Yeah. Because um, people are a lot less active than Squad Arena. Yeah, I have my reset at 9 o'clock, which means as long as I get out before 9 a.m., which I normally do, uh, I should be able to buy these refreshed shipments for free, the, the four pieces of gears. Oh, yeah. Uh, otherwise, I find that if I set it any other time, I'll probably miss the first one or something. <laughs> just, uh, just a little bit. Like, it, I, it doesn't really get in the schedule or anything. Yeah, and that's why I did my mains the way that I do his, because I get up at like five and go to work, and then I have three hours to sort through. Oh, like, I see. Yeah, to kind of sort through the store, see what's there, and the previous reset happens before I go. To, so I like go to bed. There's a reset that happens around two a.m. that I'm not awake for, but I can get to it before my uh, daily reset. I see. Petron, thanks uh, for the 100. I'm assuming those are bits. <laughs> Good evening. What's up? How's it going? Pet Ron, 19, 1976. <laughs> Let's do two of these. Cross potency. Okay. Good, good man. Petra. Yeah, that's what I said at the beginning, right? I said Petra. And then I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Wait, do you see the Twitch chat? Uh. Jax? Yeah. Okay. Because his name is Petron, right? Uh, but if you break it down yeah. after Pet, P E T, it, it reads Pet Ron. <laughs> yep. Hmm. I feel like even with, with this team right here, like Palpatine, I don't know. If I get Merciless Massacre on Vader, I got two Zetas, so maybe Merciless Massacre and No Escape first. Yeah, that's what I would do, because um, No Escape will help you deal with the Geos. Yeah. The Merciless Massacre, when you do Merciless Massacre, all the, you know, Spy will get decloaked and then he'll right. get a little buff thingy. And then maybe Palpatine's lead, because that's going to help quite a bit too with being better to able to clear uh, the geos. What other teams do you have? You don't even need Pel as long you can clear geos with what you have right now. I would I don't know if I'd put Cackling Doom on with with um, uh, with with Vader alone or the lead, I mean. Yeah, you can. I've been doing it for a while. I, I actually had a s single Zeta Vader that Palpatine and Vader could... So I had Merciless Massacre on a Gear 12 Vader, and I was able to clear all the way up to Gear 11 Geos, no problem. Um, at at what level? For, at what gear level for Vader? 12. 12? Okay. Yeah. So if you ran No Escape and Merciless Massacre, and then just level 7 for Palpatine's ability... Leader? How many Zetas do you have right now? Uh, I think I got 40. Yeah, Merciless. I would just do... I would do MM and No Escape. Yeah. Only got two. Merciless Massacre is still good. It's just the Calling Blade, they broke away. Yeah, my main account... Uh, I do kind of have to... On my main account, I do kind of have to rely on uh, the lead from Palpatine to guarantee I clear Geos every time. My Vader is Relic too, but I can clear any Relic Geo team. Yeah, I stopped using Vader when I got Emphis Nest to gear 12. Emphis... Then I just... Counters... Geos? 
Yeah, oh yeah. Especially if you run like, so I run her kind of weird. I run her with it. Well, it's not kind of weird. I just have a, I unlocked Kira and took her to the minimum gear level and I just throw her in the lead so that Emphis Ness gets extra crit chance and uh, recovers protection when she attacks. Interesting. And it's really, every now and then I'll get yeeted off by, by Spy if it just like Spy gets his uh, special attack at the certain right point in the cycle. Interesting. But usually... Scoundrel allies have 20% crit chance. In addition, whenever they score a critical hit, they recover 10% protection and gain an additional bonus based on their role. Attacker. Yeah, so she's an attacker. 5% offense, stacking three stacks. So 15% offense and uh, some crit chance and some recovery, protection recovery. Yep. Interesting. Have you ever seen Emphis Nest do work? I think so. Uh, I haven't really seen too much of it, uh, but I know doesn't she gain like a, a bunch of protection whenever anyone attacks her? Yeah, like when she gets, gets attacked, she like gains some protection. And uh, but every time that a buff expires on an enemy, it increases her critical damage by like two percent or something like that. So after like four minutes of fighting Geos... Infinitely and, stacking? Uh, yeah, it's infinitely wow. stacking. Yeah. She can she can just start one-shotting the Geos off the field. At one point, usually around four, the four-minute mark, she'll just start one-shotting Geos off the field. Nice. And once that happens, it's just like 20 seconds and the match is over. Nice. And her special... Um, it's her second special, I want to say. Uh, Daze's... It's like a an oh. area effect that dazes all the enemies and removes turn meter. It's pretty solid. Gain forty percent turn meter for each enemy with less than full health. Huh. Yep. What what is her unique? Eighty percent counter chance ignores taunt during her turn. Whenever Ness is damaged by an attack, she gains thirty percent crit chance and forty percent bonus protection. This bonus protection increases by an additional 40% each time. Both bonuses expire and reset at the start of... Okay. So that's when she can get yeeted. Yeah, if, if it happens to be like her turn to take, and then right after she takes a turn, Spy goes and has his yeet, then she can get one-shotted. But anything short of that, um, you're good to go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is there a date for when Conquest comes back? I think in one or two days. Uh, Petron says Monday, I guess. Monday? What is today? Today's Saturday. I th oh, today's Saturday. Okay. <laughs> we'll come back Monday. Okay. Uh, I, I hear people run... Uh, uh, what's his name? Old Ben with Amphis sometimes? Uh, I wouldn't, personally. Just because... Um, I want people to attack her, so true. she gains that protection. True, up. true. Like she can, she can take out under the right circumstances. She can take out troopers. She can take out oh. my Mothma teams, and she can take out Geos, and she can take out Ewoks. <laughs> my gear eleven. When my nest was gear eleven, I was in a territory war, and I took out relic one. A, a whole relic one Ewok team with just Emphis nest. Wow, just a single yeah. Emphis. A single gear eleven emphasis nest wow. knocked out an entire That's relic insane. one you walked in. That's yeah. insane. It was like seventeen thousand galactic power at that time, and the Ewok team was up in like almost a hundred. It was crazy. <laughs> wow. Huh. Yeah, it's like, uh, but it's really hard to get to. And then after that, it took me a long time to get her to. Well, by a long time, I mean like three weeks of just all my crystals went to emphasis nest. Then, yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I fit. I just finished farming this guy's ship last night, as you saw. Lando's Milan oh, yeah. Falcon. 
So uh, with the extra energies, I think I'm just going to spend everything on Nest. Yeah, that's what I would do. She's yeah. a very solid character. And the thing is, is she's relevant at the end game. She's the reason that players don't put Genosians and Ewoks and stuff like that on defense at the end of the game. Interesting. Oh. I'm just playing Lego Star Wars 3. <laughs> Trying to 100% it. I run her with my band currently. She is hell behind his lead. Interesting. Yeah, because she counterattacks, right? So that increases Bam's, uh, whatchamacallit, his uh, stacking whistling birds. Whistling birds? Does she count towards whistling birds, or is that just... I feel like she does. Uh, Beskar armor lead. For each scoundrel ally at the start of battle, scoundrel allies gain blah blah blah. Whenever an enemy takes damage, scoundrel allies gain turn meter. Uh, maybe it is oh, unique. Yeah, solid. Uh, Ben is immune to ability block, 40% potency, tenacity. First time each scoundrel allies falls below 75% health. Ben dispels all the buffs, gain one stack of whistling birds, and takes a bonus turn. The first time each scoundrel ally falls below 75%. I don't know how Ben works. <laughs> Yeah, he is. Uh, I, I plan on going for him next, honestly, or at least soon. Yeah, like after I watched the Mandalorian show, I thought I was gonna go for him. Uh, but then I was also trying to go for Basila at the time. <laughs> oh yeah, and she's much much more accessible, so I just went for Basila. Well, I want to get. I want to at least get grief and the Mandalorian ground so that I can uh, throw him into a bounty hunter team to unlock Chewy hmm. at some point. But I need to grind Cad Bane, Bosk, Boba, and IG-2000 anyways, because they're just like, I don't know if you've realized it yet, but Hound's Tooth is like the most prevalent soft requirement for Galactic Legends in this game. Yeah. Cad Bane should be pretty easy to get as well, since he's, like, right here. He is. His ship is hidden behind the Droidicon node, though. Oh. Yeah. And you need his ship. The Zanadu Blood is another soft requirement for Executor and SLKR. And I don't think it's needed for... Uh, Radis, but Hound's Tooth is. Uh, Hound's Tooth Hound's is needed tooth for is, Finalizer. Yeah. yeah, it's needed for three. Interesting. Yeah, Finalizer, Radis, and Executor. Yeah. How's my how's my uh, how's my ships for uh, Radis going? Okay, so Ray's unlocked. Um, X Wing, pretty easy. Not gonna worry about that. Snips. 114. Hound's Tooth is probably going to be the slowest one. Uh, Ebon Hawk, I'll probably go for after uh, Sun to Star Brood Alpha. Poe Dameron, probably easy to farm. And who else? Uh, one, two, three. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Londo's ship uh, should be easy, I think. He is good. He's yeah, even better behind the new mall lead. His ship is amazing. Razor Crest is godly. Remember that time when we when we had the Razor Crest bonus? Uh, whenever you did fleet for a week, or something. Yeah. Yeah. I made a mistake I, by not going for it every day. I. I did too. I got seventy one shards and I wasn't I wasn't trying super hard. I was just doing my normal stuff. Yeah. But I look back on it now and I'm like, oh man, I messed up. <laughs> yeah. Should have spent at least hundred fifty every day. Yeah, because that was before I was doing conquest, so I didn't realize how difficult Exact me too. Uh, <laughs> and now when I do conquest, I just wanna put all of my conquest currency because I'm I can still only I mean I could do normal mode. 
and get to like the third level, but I want to finish it and I want to get the conquest currency so that I can put it into relic mats and gear 12 equipment. Yeah. Like, I'm not even worried about the store stuff yet because, like, oh, Commander Sokatano, that's great, but <laughs> it doesn't do me any. I mean, it would do me good, but, like, I, I can get further in the game with where I'm at now by getting the gear 12 equipment because there's a lot out of Conquest. Yeah, right. Um, like last time, I think I cleaned out all the all the Wandering Scavenger stores. What's that? I'm developing a love-hate relationship with the executor. I love to fire the Death Star. I hate the coin flip on mirror matches. Yeah, that's what I'm not looking forward to in my fleet shard. The first dude to get a seven star executor just got uh just got his executor seven stars. And I'm like, really? Already? Although if you relic nine uh the pilot your your executor is gonna be faster, right? Who is it? Veers or something? Piet? Piet? Yeah, but I think the way they go right now is to leave Piet at relic eight because it seems like from what I've heard and seen, the relic nine executor that goes faster usually loses because it throws out all the debuffs and then oh. the other team goes and executor cleans all the debuffs off. Interesting. But then that team's debuffs stick because their executor's already gone and like some weird mechanic. I don't really know how the executor works too well, but um, it just seemed like that it was the same reason why like when executor first came out. He's right. Uh, the four star executor was just stomping seven star executors. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, for like the first week that it was out before they patched it, four star executor was the way to go. <laughs> huh. Yeah, so there's uh, there's one guy in my in my guild who who's got he's the only one that has an executor and he made his P at the first relic nine. Oh man! Uh, it is holding though on territory wars during territory wars. Oh, I bet. Speaking of which, I forgot to deploy. Uh, let's, let me see what my officer said. What GP is the squad? I am double checking with other officers. Want to make sure both your accounts get rewards. Okay. You can put your GO team up front this time. Thanks for asking in advance. Our opponents have had unusually low sign up numbers, which is why the number of squads per territory is lower than usual. And that's why our defense is filling at lightning speed. Okay. Um, I guess I'll be deploying my, my GOs in the front. Oh God. <laughs> my alts geo in the uh let me let me let me tell her just make sure because both of my accounts are in the same guild i don't want her to mess it up right squads uh dark geos yeah i always just drop my ewoks in the backfield and call it call it a day my alt geos is about 80k. Just wanted to make sure you weren't checking my main. I should I place that on top or bottom? Okay. Uh, the trick is to get the other hunter out front. That's hard with Piet at 192 speed. Oh, it's a handful to fight, even with another executor. That malevolence counter is sketchy AF. Yeah, I, I hear. I, he I hear people talking about it in my guild. Although one of the officers says that it can be pretty consistent with a with a uh, Imperial Tie Fighter. Oops, forgot to reply for uh, for an hour. That makes sense because 
I mean, it would make it would it would mean that your executor is ultimately faster than the enemy's executor because the evasion turn meter bonus ups. Uh, you mean malevolence? Or oh, you were talking the malevolence. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The malevolence counter, yeah. Yeah. That's like the way to go. I really want to take malevolence up to seven star on my alt, but I just can't justify doing it this early in the game when just having a malevolence is gonna make all the difference. <laughs> so, so there's no significant change uh, going from unlock to seven stars. I mean, you add one more ship and it does increase oh. the damage output, but like it, your abilities and like the percentages don't change, right? And does your vaulted droid are more effective, but wait, so I feel. Go ahead. So having more stars doesn't give you extra stats, or or anything. Um, it does. I mean, it increases all your base stats. Well, some most of your a lot of your base stats, but I don't think it does all of them. Hmm. I wonder what's how how is scale. How it scales. Wonder how it scales with the with the skills. I may actually compare. I could actually, I could actually kind of give a pseudo idea of how it scales because I have I'm sitting on executrix uh, and an endurance level up. I can level one of those two up. I can. I'm gonna level endurance from four to five stars. Uh, one second. Let me talk to my officer for a second. Yeah, I'm gonna write these stats down real quick before I... And we can chat about it after I... Okay, she said, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna... Hey, stranger, how you been? What's up, Shadow? <laughs> You called me. You called me a stranger after after a few days at the very beginning as well. I remember that. <laughs> but I've been good. I've been I've been good. What about you? Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, she said either one is fine. I assume she means either top or bottom is fine. Uh, probably gonna put it on bottom just because. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on bottom. Select squad, dark. I thought she meant like either accounts. <laughs> All right, well, here goes the weakest team in the front wall. <laughs> it always gotta be one. What's that? Hopefully, this is probably gonna let the uh, the opponent spend a, a weak team or, or a, a somewhat of a decent team on this geo or something, so that they have less right. firepower later on. Still, just on oh Lego my. Star Wars. <laughs> what is is that? What what platform do you play that on, Helix? You ready for this uh, numbers comparison between a four and a five star endurance? To four see and exactly five stars. Changes. Okay. So the the upgrade multiplier goes up point one. It goes up like a tenth of a multiplier. So it goes from one point one five multiplier to one point two five. Is uh, that power? Is that significant? It it is. I mean, it brings the crew power up by about a thousand. So from ninety six seventy one to ten five twelve. Hmm. Ship power went up from fifty three hundred to fifty eight hundred. 
total power went up uh, about 1,300. It's so not the stats that matter. I'm just wondering. This is what... I'm just wondering if it's actually gonna matter, you know, if it because if it's not gonna matter, I'm probably gonna go for negotiator. So it did increase speed by two. Oh, okay. Um, which on endurance it's probably more like three or four on the level end because endurance gets most of its speed from valor. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I'm doing oh, it on PS yeah. PlayStation. We're going for a hundred percent. Nice. So it increases potency and tenacity slightly. Damage. Uh, I mean, really, speed's the one big thing. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. I wonder how. I wonder if what does Malevolence even do? I don't see, and this is the thing that we're we're talking about having Malevolence at such an early stage in the game. Yeah. Because, like, on my alt, I'm going to hit level 85 and within three days have malevolence. I think I'm just going to go for negotiator right after that. I don't think I'm going to take it to seven stars. At that pace, though, might not be a bad idea. Yeah, because by the time that most people are hitting level 85, they're not even looking at being able to get negotiator yet. Or right. malevolence. Right. Unless if they play smart and actually got a bunch of malevolent shards. Yeah, but think about it this way too. Which one do you think you're likely to get the pilot to seven stars faster? Malevolence or Negotiator? Uh, I guess it depends I, on what they farm as well, right? Yeah, because I personally, my General Kenobi is about to unlock at five stars. I've only got 30 shards of General Grievous. I see. At, at going to five stars so and plus kenobi fits into padme which arguably i think the padme team's way better than the grievous team any day of the week hmm. uh wait hold on a failed attempt on offense can still give you rewards you're talking about for participation for in territory, territory war battles? yeah yeah or territory yeah, battle well. territory war or territory battle Territory war. Yeah. Wait, so that's true? Even if you fail an attempt on office, it still gives you rewards? At least that's what my officer told me. I'm pretty sure it does. I, I don't know. I've never tried because I've always put... I always play someone on defense. So I don't know. Well, I'm going to save it, I guess. Uh, probably going to use my Empire to take out a Geo team. Use my Empire to take out a Geo team. <laughs> oh, that's pretty dope, Shadow. Any relic. I mean, it sucks you didn't get your account back, but... That should be good. To answer your question, life's been rough. Dropped the game for about a month. Came back to being unable to log into my old account. Had to restart. Uh-oh. Wait, how old, how, uh, how old was your old account? Just hit level 33 and got Darth Talon. I came back to her marquee event two days ago. And have enjoyed getting back into it. Mr. Oh, Jigabachi, well, uh, welcome guys, and thanks for the raid. Uh, didn't you literally raid me yesterday? Was that, that was, I'm 100% that was you, right? Yeah, <laughs> I remember that, because I remember the cat emojis and the hearts. <laughs> <laughs> But what's going on, guys? Uh, welcome, welcome. How's it going, Mr. Jigabachi? Mm. 
Blue Hawk, Pride Paint, Heart, Blue Perp, <laughs> Shades. So many hearts, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, me. How, how's your, how's, uh, chilling, chilling, dude? First time chat. Molly, how do you not know Mr. Jigabachi, the guy with the big time streamer ego? Just kidding. <laughs> I was actually watching Jigabachi earlier before I joined your stream. Oh, really? It was a point where somebody called him Mr. G. And he was like, is Jigabashi spelled with the G or J? I don't even know. <laughs> Mr. J. Day 98. Yeah. Wow. How the game has changed since I first started. Yeah. Uh, day 98. It's almost day 100. And uh, the game is about to change completely in terms of GAC and Squad Arena. So I'm just kind of caught right in the middle of it. Uh, trying to adjust my plans accordingly. Uh, but it should be fun. It should be fun. Many more double shard farms now. Uh, I don't know how long you have been playing or how long ago you were playing. But yeah, uh, lots of guys are, are adapting to the new changes as well. Uh, GAC is going to be the thing now. So I am... Planning my rosters. I'm trying to get Darth Vader to um, to gear 12 if I can and put Merciless Massacre and stuff. Uh, no escape and stuff. New player or new if uh, if any if it's any help. I got no clue who they are. Uh, yeah, I don't typically watch other people stream. Like I know Arnold. I know uh, Cubs fan. Huh? I know AP. Uh, I've seen some of their guides. Uh, I know AB Games, quote unquote, greatest. Uh, what what does he call it? Uh, the greatest free to play guide. Free to play greatest free AP Games approved great greatest free to play guide in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, but I know, actually, that's like most mostly the the uh streamers slash youtubers uh that i watch. i don't normally watch stream but i do watch guides that's how i get some of my information uh but mr j has has rated me two days in a row now so i i, I now know mr j <laughs> lol i'm just a random guy jacksic new player or new account uh I was born yesterday, so I'm a new player as well, uh, and new account as well. Yeah, uh, it's 98 days. I do have a I do have a main account that's that just hit 85 before I made the alt. Uh, but my main account is like, but yeah, since since I just hit 85 before my before I made my alt, uh, it's it's pretty 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 new as well. So I'm not. I'm not, it's, it's nothing like ancient or anything. Um, but like overall, I've probably played the game for half a year now, roughly ish. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm pretty new. Both. <laughs> Welcome Raiders, BTW. Hey, but was hyping up your Sabine in Jigga's stream. Ooh, hello there. We actually talked a bit about your Sabine in his chat, and Jigabachi doesn't know you, too. So it's probably all good. My, yes. Oh, no. Oh, please tell me it's a clip. I need to see this. Give me just a sec. How far in the VOD is it? The big YouTubers? Don't know if there's a uh, clip, but it's in the VOD somewhere. How far in? AP Guy is pretty much just a revenue rush. Um, I actually have his different nine faces in my on my main account. Uh, you know how he's got like face zero or something through face ten. Uh, I know in the end he goes for general or a galactic legend Kenobi. I think, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he does. Yeah. The uh, hard part. 
the hard part with his guys guide is it's so deep that it's like when do you transition from one phase to the next like yeah i mean he did he didn't he, he did mention though that if you complete like the main characters in each phase you can just move on to the next yeah and that's pretty much how i did it when i was still doing his guide before the i see geonosis yeah the geonosian galactic chases those messed everything up like everyone that's in our <laughs> alts age group for this game that started through like you know within the last six months they've probably all got separatist everything right now yeah and i feel like if, for anyone who follow his guide uh it, they're probably uh, reaping the rewards now since gac is going to be the main focus now and his oh, guide is, is focused on on gac uh yeah yeah because it like you were going to say it focuses on team building and getting enough teams to be able to compete in gac right because you see now the rush is the crappy thing now is that like coming into this first gac a lot of us that have like decently built low game rosters that have you know three four teams enough teams to, to get a full clear on offense right yeah. Forget defense, full clear offense, maybe have one good team on defense or, you know, something to strip banners. It's going to be general grievous for me, but, you know, whatever. And then we're going to get a bunch of wins back to back to back until we get to the next season when it bumps us into the next league and <laughs> it's going to be hitting a wall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. That's just what I see happening. They, like, yeah, they they did say it's gonna get more and more. The algorithm or whatever is 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 gonna get more and more accurate as time goes on. Hopefully that's true. Like I I don't know. Like like if it's just based on the, your win record, I don't know if you're gonna face people that are way uh, over your GP. I think we will. I think that the GP disparity is going to be a lot larger hmm. the further in that we go. Like, because, like, you're this account that you stream and my account, I think my alt account that I started around the same time you did. Um, yeah, I'm at 682,000 galactic power on my alt. But I've got four solid teams going that are all, you know, they've got gear 10, 11, 12. Well, not 12 yet, but gear 10 and 11 units on them. Maybe not all of them, but enough of them to where I can use it on offense and easily pull a win. Nice. Um, yeah, it's it's gonna hit the point where it rolls into the next division at some point, and I'm gonna be way under GP'd. I'm not gonna have enough teams to get a full clear because I've see. got four solid teams. I was I gonna check your roster, uh, but I don't think I don't think you're on my friends list, right? Uh, it's nobody. Oh yeah, right, right, right. I remember that. That's right. You uh, added me a while back. Yeah, I think we added each other. What was your rate? Uh... What an interesting way to spell nobody. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. You ever see the What's Odyssey? What's a grandma? <laughs> hey guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw it in the chat too. Oh, yeah, you got it. Uh, what happened with everybody though, unless you have everything. By the way, I'm not a he. People need to keep going for a couple or months or three to see how it goes with the matchmaking. Uh yeah, hopefully I hopefully did. it's gonna be good. <laughs> hopefully yeah, I mean, it's gonna that's be good. A good point. Right now it's all just a lot of speculation. We don't really know how exactly it's gonna turn out. Yeah. Just, honestly, just go out, send it. I'm not too worried about that though. If they mess up, they'll they'll give us Clone Wars Chewbacca shards. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I Go did. Clone Wars Chewie. It's a she, I think, or they then, or a blue eyed penguin. It's a blue eyed penguin. However, you identify. I see your geo, uh, geo. Grievous, uh, Jedi, and Separatists, I guess those are four. Yeah, so... Panme, I see, yeah. as well. So my one team is going to be Newt lead with Jango Fett, uh, Dooku, and then I'm just sitting on 
a bunch of stuff that I'm going to put into Asajj here soon, but it's basically going to be Newt and Shango holding the fort down. The rest are going to be there to just build the team. This um, looks solid. Yeah, then I'm building oh, up bad the Dark Hero, like I said. So, <laughs> yeah, the two-star Bad Batch team is going to be uh, a surprising... It, no one's going to realize it's in the roster, but it can pull a win. Yeah, um, for sure. Especially at early GAC, if people are scrubbing their defense in favor of offense. Yeah. And, like, right before it hits, I'm going to take a lot of these level 70s and stuff up to level 80 to 85. I'm just kind of hoarding to see where I'm going to put the resources first. I but, see. Because the teams that I don't use daily, you know, like I'm not using Bad Batch daily. I'm not using the Padme team daily. Yeah, I see you got a Mom Mothma as well. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was planning on doing a Mon Mothma Rebels team, and I still could. Um, I've got like Pathfinder, Pow, Bodhi. Yeah. Like just a cheap version of it that I could get out of stores when I didn't have anything else to grind at the time. This seems solid. No, the great thing is if you go for Jedi Master Luke, then you're basically with like half of a decent uh, rebel fighter squad. Yeah, between Biggs, Wedge, and Mon Mothma. Lando. Yep. And Lando. Lando's on the Oh, yeah. Rebel and Lando, too. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I say decent because those four, while, you know, three of those guys are rebel fighters, I think the ideal squad involves K2, SO, uh, Cassian, Cassian and or, yeah. or the other good squad is going to involve um, shoot the blind guy. Um, Sherwood and Baze? Yes, those two. Yeah, they're they're a pain in the butt to deal with if you don't have the right team to fight them. But the the one that I've seen that a lot of people like to run is Pow Biston, um, the chick from uh, Mandalorian. Why can't I think of her name? Cara Dune. Um, Pow Biston, Cara Dune, Scout, and Mon Mothma. I see them K two so. Ezba, I gotta disagree with you a little bit because the synergy between Cassian and K2, uh, if you look at their Zetas, they're actually a pretty good gotcha team. So, yes, I do agree that POW and Scout Trooper are, are the ideal, but Cassian and K2SO, they do have some pretty good synergy that now that Mon Mothma is a leader, it can catch some people off guard. Oh, yeah, well, that's what Zareth uses in threes. Is... Oh, crazy! One of the greatest strategists in <laughs> Swoga streaming uses K two S O and Cassian. Wow! Yeah. But he he only does it in threes. In five v five, he actually uses Pow Biston, Kara, and Scout. I don't know why <laughs> why he doesn't use them oh, in five v five though. To be honest, I never really looked looked into it that hard. Hmm. Can I actually beat this though? Oh, maybe. Petition Oof. to get to get Helix in VC, and you don't know Jigabachi, so it's all good. What you say, chat? Yeah, Jig won't know who he is, but Jig should learn who she is. The girl has name. You don't <laughs> want Cassia and K two. You don't. You want Poa. Pow and Scout Trooper. Pow and Scout Trooper. Yeah, it's not that, a good 5v5. We best 3v3. Yeah. Truth. Well, Helix has been in VC. She just hasn't spoken yet. This is true. She accidentally misclicked, she said. <laughs> so something else, too, that I think a lot of people aren't thinking of, because IBD brings up a good point with Kyle Katarn coming into the Mon Mothma team. They they straight up said That's that true. the yeah they said that the cadence for these guys isn't gonna follow the normal marquee release mm. cadence and I think what they mean by that and I haven't gone into it into the weeds on this one to see if there's a dev answer on this but I think that they're gonna release them all into nodes a lot sooner than the three month mark that they usually they'll probably still only be a one shard arm for the next year but 
I, I have a feeling that we're actually going to get Kyle Katarn a node, like, next month, as opposed we're to... Going, we're, we're going to be getting them much sooner, because um, Kyle Katarn, Arth Talon, and uh, Ara Jade, who is basically all but confirms. Yeah, you know? they screwed up a bit on <laughs> Well, Apple did on that one. Either Apple yeah. or someone at the... It was Google Play. No, it was released on the Apple. I wasn't. Okay, um, yeah. yeah, it was Apple, not Google. Oh, uh, Dash Rendar. Thank you, Wolverine. Yes, but those four people are going to be... Those four characters are going oh, to be no, released earlier than normal just because they're all required for Starkiller. Yeah. And we're actually getting Starkiller in, like, 10 days, if I remember right. Yep. On like the 15th or 13th or something like that? 15th sounds right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna oh get my any god. Time here. Ouch. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Died. I do think, I do think Kyle Katarn's pretty solid though for that team. I just don't know who he's gonna replace out of that team. I'd have to watch the videos again to see the test runs and plan for it accordingly. But oh, I must have done that. Oh. Kyle comes into the MM one. team now as well. BTW yeah. Riley. If you want to talk about him yeah. the next he's ally code. I didn't start, you don't use Cassie and K2 because they don't feed as much turn meter as Biston. Is that how you pronounce it? Biston? 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Biston, Biston, tomato, Something. tomato, potato, <laughs> potato, you know. Mountain, oh, no. mountain, that's the Utah. Oh, no. This I is not looking good. Oh. Okay. Oof. That was... Ooh. Oh. Oh, jeez. No. She crits Ouch. for 13k. Like, Mando died way too quickly. I don't know if I can do this. Maybe just you walk. I don't need Han Solo shards. Well, I think yeah. you can kill. Han Solo is always good to have, though. Ouch. Like, he's already almost on the stars. I can get him to send the stars just by just passively uh, with the guild raids. Or you get him to seven stars now. Uh, I I would I would go for now because of where you're at. Because you plan on doing. Do you plan on doing C three P on this account? Because if you do, I would just do the Poplu shards. A uh, good point, actually. Because Poplu, like the Ewoks, suck to farm, and there's Poplu and Sheep Trip are both farmed out of Cantina. Yeah, it, so it's probably good to have. Point. Yeah, because like, the rest though... of them are pretty easy. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna go for C3PO anytime soon, but I feel like this might just be good to have. You yeah, know, I mean that's farming. how I'm doing it on my alt is I'm just like passively farming the Ewoks when opportunities come up. Yeah. And then when the day comes, I'm just gonna drop into them. I hope you're ready for taking those Ewoks, those little murder bears, all the way up to gear eleven. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was able to get it on my main with uh, Chirpa, Zeta, and Gear 9 across the board with a Gear 11 Elder and Wicket. You know, funny enough, the Ewok Zetas aren't actually that bad. No, there's, they're a really lot, there, there's, a, there's a lot of really good synergy with, with those Ewoks. A lot of healing, too. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, I'm 12 shards off of Brute Alpha. Damn. Yeah, I spent 300 crystals for Brute Alpha yesterday, and I got zero. Or, I uh, got like six shards. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I just spent 200. I'm about to spend the last 300. I'm really just doing it because I'm I'm trying to blitz uh, Qui-Gon Jinn as well, which will give me another team. Oh man, six shards that time. I'm <laughs> sitting six shards away from Geonosian and Brute Alpha. Damn. You, you do realize you're not going to put the Omicron on until you get to, um, 
level 85, right? I'm I'm at level 84 and I'm 10,000 uh, XP away from 85. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice work. I'll have I'll have it before the next GAC starts. I'll be in that GAC with this account. So. Anyway, if not, I'm still planning towards that and prepping towards it because I have enough Jedi to leave Jedi Knight Anakin Snips and uh, Padme as a three three uh, tuning team, and then. I agree, Zion. Houndstooth. Houndstooth and Bosk, for sure. Oh, yeah. The, the one comment I want to make to IVD Ooh, and Wolverine nice. is that now, even though the Ewoks may be oh, like. A that was not the last turn. <laughs> team, oh, even God. though the Ewoks are a C class team, you can use them to punch up into a B class team. And Ooh, there nice. are some B class teams that can punch up to A class teams. So, you know, that kind of progression there just makes it worth it. I mean, the nice thing about Ewoks is that once you have them, you have them. And you get them gear 11, you can just drop them on defense all day long and never think about it again. That's also true. It's a good defense burner squad. And it's going to. Oh. You know, the punch up is not worth the investment. What, what are you drinking? What do you mean? <laughs> not worth the investment. Hello? If it saves you another good squad to use as a counter to like, CLS, for example, then yes, that is a good investment. It just saves you another good squad. I didn't say they punch up high. I said from a C class to a B class. I didn't say they're going to take down a Galactic Legend. Well, the other thing too is it's a synergistic team, there like, you go. and it unlocks one of the most important characters in the game just because of everything that C three PO is required for. Like, I mean, he fits into a lot of different teams. True, but his main home is with CLS. That's kind of it, the thing. It is, but like if you're using Padme Squad in Arena, for example, you can throw him with your Padme Squad in Arena. Also um, true. You know, if you're using doing some random galactic challenge, there's a lot of teams because of the tags that he has that he can enhance their their ability in that te in that challenge. Yeah, I've also seen, on my end of the game, I've seen uh, 3PO used with Jedi Master Kenobi. And it's actually kind of trippy sometimes. Yeah, that, that sounds kind of trippy. Oof. Sorry, I'm just kind of zoned in hey. here. Wolverine, the, the this. issue with your comment there is that Hux isn't going to be with your normal, you know, like, non-SLKR squad. Hux is always going to be with SLKR, so Wolf, so Ewoks are still a good counter to the First Order. Oh my god, that rocket though. Oh, nice shot. I wish I had Bosk. If I had Bosk, I can definitely do uh, the Rolo one. Even without Bosk, it might still be doable if I save the one shot ability from Mando. Oh, yeah, for that last. Yeah. I get into that last one and hope Mando stays alive. Yeah. Right. I'm sure if he played it through a couple times, he could, be, he could clear it. Yeah, he got wiped at the beginning last time. Uh, Okay, here we go. IVD Wolverine, you keep going back to that point. I'm not saying that the Ewoks Ooh. are 
Bots oh, are amazing. Nice. I'm just saying, they do have a use. Yeah, it's not a total waste to get them like Phoenixes, in my opinion. Uh, there's there's actually some use for Phoenix because of the Rebel Fleet. Oh no. <laughs> dazed. Yeah, I guess. I'm dazed. But you can make it, like, the end game Rebel Fleet doesn't even include the Phoenix ships. Good point. Like, <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. Like, you get both of the U-Wings, you get MILF, Wedge, Figs. The Y wing. Um, so I, I will say that if you mess up on the General Grievous squad, Ewoks can clean it up very nicely. Not to mention, once you have seven star Ewoks, it's not very hard to get wicket shards. Also <laughs> true. Oh man. One I, mean, I don't know why you're trying to give me advice. I'm the guy with two accounts that's in endgame content. I'm fighting for Relic 9 materials. Why are you trying to give me advice? 25. What the heck? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I haven't really paid attention. Jack and I are just going back and forth. <laughs> I hear you walks, but I have no idea what they do. They, don't get me wrong, I will say this about Ewoks, they piss me off more <laughs> often than not. Every team has a use apart from Tuscans, we're trying to give advice about where to spend gear to help you better. Oh, I, well, Zion, I just told you why bother with more. They can clean up a General Grievous squad if you fail there. I have seen a guy who who's got a YouTube channel and all he has is Ewoks, which I I thought it's it's kind of it's different. All he has is what? All he has is Ewoks. Oh lord. Yeah. Oh. Does he at least have three PO as well? I don't think so. I think he had oh, a full Ewok team and he beat like. He'd be, he'd be like some impossible team to beat or something. I saw a highlight once upon a time. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's spend some ally points. Uh, that's all? Only two Vulture Droids shards? IVD, you're, we're not having a dick pissing contest. Uh -oh. And again, there's <laughs> nothing for you to give me advice on. I'm in the end game content. Here goes my YouTube algorithm. I... Oh, shoot. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it's technically not a sort of word. Uh, I hope you have software to bleep out what I said then. <laughs> yeah. Could edit that in, but it's uh, going to be rough. It's a long video. Uh, I'll just give you the time step right now. We're looking at two hours and I'm sorry, I'll just I'll, I'll just leave happened. it in. I'll just leave it in. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm, just, I'm just going to DM you the exact time step. It's like 2.36. It's okay. I would have to import the whole video and then export. 95% <laughs> nice helix. I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta get all these teams anyways at some point, so... Yeah, it's true. It's, it's just a matter of the order in which you get them. Like, I don't I don't think anyone who knows what they're doing is starting off with a smuggler's team, you know? It'd be an interesting flex, though. Like, honestly, to me, I support people who, who, like, get whatever team that they enjoy. 
like if they enjoy a certain team like by all means like max it out or do whatever you want like efficiency is efficient uh but there's there is no like one exact way to play the game you know there's no the way yeah well it's a game you know like games are meant to you're meant to have fun like, like i you took gotta do to have fun I took Clone War Chewbacca to some of the stars at the very beginning just because I knew who Chewbacca was. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, if I were to do it again, I probably would not do it anymore. But, you know, at the time, that's what I did. Especially because if you play the game long enough, they're literally just going to give you a seven star Clone Wars. Chewbacca. Exactly. Three shards at a time. Yeah, three shards at a time. You use Ewoks to get C-3PO, then leave them at the bottom of your roster. Speaking of Clone War Chewbacca's, uh, I just got like a bunch of these. Yeah, those two shards? Yeah. Oh my god. Two more Jedi Counselor. Hey, Jedi Counselor actually has a use. Now, His ship, or no, with Qui Gon. I the ship, but put him. Yeah, put him on a Qui Gon team. I see. I'm telling you, two healers, Grandmaster Yoda, a fourth account, probably some sort of tank, whether it be Old Ben or. Uh, yeah, you would be the fifth. Yeah, who would mm, who would I want to take out? Because the thing is, I, I want two oh. healers on this game. Well, I don't, I won't have Cam for a while. So the early game oh, of play yeah. without Cam. Wait, did Ooh, someone else right. come into the... Oh, okay, never mind. TBF Ewoks do a job on defense until you start facing Nest or Vader, etc. Oh, nice. 25 Tebow. Wait, is Tebow one of the good ones? Tebow is not. Tebow? Uh. No, not necessarily. Yeah, he, he's not like the the top five. The top five are I see. Papu, Logre, Elder, Chirpa? Wicket, and uh, yeah, Chirpa. Uh, yeah, you basically leave uh, Tebow and Scout out of the roster. I see. I've seen some people get 3PO with Tebow and Scouts, <laughs> which I think was stupid, stupidly hard. Like, on my main account, I'm, like, one more unlock away from Seven Star, uh, this guy. Whatever his name is. What, like, does anyone know how to pronounce his name? Who is that? This guy right here. Uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about That's right. That's my best. Yes, my best guess. <laughs> What's your best guess on pronunciations in chat? <laughs> Thinking blue stacks froze on me again. Oh, I see. Uh, have you tried to install boot camp? Boot camp Windows? No. We talked about it last night, but I haven't yet. I see. Do you plan to? Maybe. Probably during like my... I got two weeks of vacation coming up I'm going to take and I'm not really going to be doing anything. I'm just not going to be going to work. Paid vacation to sit at home and not do anything. I see. Might do it then because I'll have an exorbitant amount of time. True. Uh, it should be a, a relatively easy thing to install though. Yeah, it is. Oh, it was uh, very easy. Yup. 
and and this thing like ever since the la the latest update uh to like 5.4 it hasn't crashed has hasn't frozen on me at all i mean just the fact that you're streaming and i know you're streaming on mac and it's going as smooth as it does on my phone has me excited to do it <laughs> I would, because I can't stand uh, the the freezing. Like I don't mind, it, but like on a Mac though, on on a Mac, I don't know about you, but like on my Mac, uh, Blue Stacks takes forever to load up. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like every time I have to reboot it, it takes like two minutes. They're just waiting for it to load. Yeah, but like on Windows, even if it fro freezes, like I can just like close it and open it again. Yeah. And it, it boosts up like within 10 seconds or something. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> well, Blue Stack or uh, yeah, Blue Stacks Five or whatever is coming to Max in February. So. So all I gotta do is wait until February. <laughs> Could do that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, I have been known to be a holdout every now and then for things, but that let would, let the game freeze for two more two more months. Yeah, <laughs> this drives me crazy. I don't even think you know. <laughs> it, I, I've, I felt it. Nice, finally, twenty five, IG one hundred Magna Guard. I hate that one of my daily missions is to enhance a ship. Until you're level 85. Because I don't want to spend that fleet currency. <laughs> uh, wait, what do you have to do? Enhance the ship. You can just, I think for those, you can just spend one training droid. Yeah, that's, oh, that's a good point. I probably could get away. Oh, whatever, I just do one level every time. That's what I typically do too. Uh, but if you if you've ran out of ships to go one level at a time, you could just do one training joy at a time. Oh, nice ten IG eighty six. It's still such an annoying mission. That makes it almost even more annoying that you can get away with getting around it by doing that. It's like really, why even put that mission in there? <laughs> yeah. Chewbacca. I'm just going to activate him. <laughs> I mean, GP doesn't matter anymore, so... Yeah, I, I Plus... always just uh, unlock anyways, because I, I don't personally care. I know well, people realistically... who care a lot about efficiency are going to be pissed, but I don't really care about that. <laughs> so the yeah, thing is... chat was arguing about uh, Ewok's effect on this, so someone might get triggered. <laughs> So like if you look at my uh, screen, uh, by the way, I just loaded again for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, if you click on any ship, like for example, Ahsoka's ship here, you click on uh, enhance, and then you just click on one droid. Yeah. Plus yeah. five seventy sh ship building materials. You know what the f I IVD? You know what the funny thing is about? So IVD just put in chat to be fair. He walks to it. A job on a good job on defense until you start facing Master Vader. The funny thing was is that I actually had a seven star Emphis Nest that was gear twelve before I had all my Ewoks to seven stars. Hmm. Um, and also, why can't I click on the Cantina energy anymore? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> You've been shut off. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, we might just shut it off now. Uh, we can raid someone. Do, do you guys have any or recommendations? Maybe... Well, I have another idea. Maybe we do another stream and I show chat some Jedi Fallen Order stuff because you want to see that as well, Andy? I don't know. I could do that. Would you guys be interested in seeing something like that? Probably make it a separate stream, so that way we yeah. keep the stream as is. Although, if I end the stream and start over again, are people going to be still in the chat room, or are they going to be kicked out or something? Um, they'd be somewhere else. They would have to come back, I believe. Okay. Hmm. 
Can we get a vote in the chat or something? I don't even know how to do that. Just looking for something real quick. I'm trying to see if anyone else is live on Star Wars on Swigo. I don't think anyone. Well, yeah, there's an easy way to figure that out. Um, I was just thinking about that whole GP topic. It might actually be worth it to throw some GP blood in there before this next Grand Arena Championship starts. Hmm. Try to get it in the next league to get more daily crystals. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, it seems like... Even if it's just... This guy is on, Vinny. We could raid him. Farm the team you want to play with 100% depends on how you want to play. I personally am a efficient player, so don't opt for upgrading average teams over good teams. To each their own, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the hard part for that is, well, like, the reason that I did my Ewoks was because I had literally all four of the other teams for CLS. Like, I just needed C-3PO. And that's usually what it comes down to, is most people don't even touch Ewoks until they're, like, at that point where, okay, now I need C-3PO, let's start gearing up Ewoks. I feel like that's how it went for me, at least. Hmm. Yeah, like, uh... Yeah, I don't regret it. For example, like, Helix here in the chat, she got Relic 8 Sabine. Which I still staunchly disagree with. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you that's such a waste of material. You cannot change my mind otherwise. Like, from an efficiency <laughs> standpoint, this is not a good move, right? But, but like, she loves Sabine, and that's all that matters, honestly. Like, if this is going to make you happy, like, if spending on... If if something is going to make you, like, for example, take take myself, for example. People say don't go for Ray or, you know, Ray sucks or whatever. If I went for SLKR rush or SCE rush, I would just quit the game halfway through the second week or something. Oh, and, yeah, that'd be so boring. And, like, you don't want that to happen. Like, if it if, do whatever makes you happy, you know, uh, if you if being efficient makes you happy, by all means. But if, if getting a, a, a Relic 5 across the board Phoenix team makes you happy for whatever reason, honestly, just do it. Otherwise, if you farm up a First Order for some reason and that you don't really enjoy, what's the point? Like, games are supposed to be fun at the end of the day. Like, if you care about ranks, sure, like, be efficient, get good teams and stuff. Uh, but if, if doing other things makes you happy, uh, I value happiness. Ditto. It's about what you enjoy. Yeah. It's just being honest enough to know what is for fun and what is actually a good team. Ewoks can be a good team. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are I'm again. You, I'm seeing it at the end game content. I'm tempted to look up that YouTuber now. Isn't his? I think I remember. Isn't isn't his his channel four is to moon or something? Uh, I don't think I've ever watched him in particular, but it wouldn't surprise me. That sounds like something an Ewok guy would name their stuff. I, I don't see him. I might look it up later or something. I, I don't see him now. Uh, but... What do you guys think? Do you guys want to watch Fallen Order or do you guys want to raid someone? I'm good with whatever. I'll probably Here, hang out in Discord for a while. 
here he goes again. <laughs> you keep bringing it up, IBD, but hey, I, we have the opportunity to do something else. All in order is on the table. What do you, what 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 do you guys think in the chat? Do you, do you guys uh, what do you think, chat? Do you guys want to watch uh, Vinny or do you want to watch uh, some Fallen Order? I guess we're just gonna raid. Uh, let's raid. Alright, do it. We can watch Fallen Order after or later on today or something. Oops, I just clicked on. I keep on clicking on the wrong button on my keyboard because, you know, I'm always trying to press Command C to copy stuff. But I gotta remember to press Control C. <laughs> But yeah, if you, if you, like, if anyone wants to, uh, here's a social, by the way, if you guys want to check out the YouTube, all the highlights, all the stream replays, all the guides are on there. Uh, Discord, if you guys want to join the Discord, we have the best emojis in the game. Uh, tomorrow I'll be here at 4.30 p.m. CST, if you guys want to catch me live tomorrow. Uh, and if anyone wants to watch Fallen Order with us later on, we could do it today, or it depends on depends on you, um, Grandma. Uh, I'm game to do it tonight or now. I'm cool either way. Um, I just know that as far as like my admin stuff and my other server goes, um, the guy I'm supposed to be tag teaming with hasn't said anything about when yet. So. Okay. Oh, oh actually. He is available now, so I'm not going to be able to do Fallen Order now. Okay. Well, it uh, works out. <laughs> so, uh, raid it is. Yeah. I'll be shooting after your stream, mate. Just dropping in to see how the new account was going. All right. Um, well, have a, have a good one. Oh, hey, sorry. What did I miss? Uh, you missed... Everything I guess, Helix. Helix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I know. You missed a lot, Helix. You yeah. missed a murder bear argument. I know. <laughs> oh, I know who to raid since you're ending. Yeah, uh, I'm looking at. So the only uh, the only other person that's streaming will go is Vinny. Uh, but if you know someone, if anyone's got any recommendations, I'll do that. Big Joe is live. Who's Big Joe? I was just about to raid Vinny. <laughs> the idiot we raided. <laughs> well, uh, this guy, Vinny, is streaming will go, so I think let's just raid Vinny today. Uh, but if, if uh, some other day, if there's no, nobody else streaming will go, we'll raid, we'll raid Joe if, uh, if he's live. Uh, thanks for your recommendation, though. I was asking earlier, and uh, uh, but I see Vinny's live. I think is he still live? Let me check. Well, he's got seven point three million GP, and he's on his phone. Oh, he plays on his phone. Interesting. Well, let's let's go raid him. Uh, hopefully, he can see the chat. Let's raid. And uh, here we go, I think. <laughs> I just saw the, the stream. There's a or problem the... starting the raid? Okay. How? Yeah, I, I don't see it starting. Oh, I don't see the raid starting right now. Take care, Annie. You too, Helix. How how did I how did that not work? Let me, let me try that again. Raid. Ah! 
Oh, good point. Helix says maybe Raid is turned off for that streamer. Maybe has Raids turned off? There was a problem starting the Raid. Please try again in a minute. Does not like money? <laughs> not that there's a whole lot of money to be had in Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try mine. Uh, what do you mean by let me try mine? Like, can you guide the raid or something? Or do you want to do you want to raid Joe the Jedi? Yeah, I may as well go to Joe the Jedi. Yeah, he's got he's raids got turned raid. off. Okay. Well, let's uh, Joe the Jedi it is. Joe the Jedi. It's almost as good of a name for a Jedi as Kyle. <laughs> Close, pretty close, close enough. The channel is intended for mature audiences. Anyone below age 18 or 13, uh, please get off now and go to bed. Uh, but <laughs> it's past your bedtime. We'll be here, uh, I'll be here tomorrow, 4.30 p.m. CST. Also, you have permission to call him an idiot. Uh, I don't know him, so I'm not gonna call him that. Uh, but let's go now. Uh, my chat just sure. changed. Yep. Are we there? Yep, we're there. Okay, well. Yep. Uh, oh, he's playing Halo Infinite. Or, oh, he's playing Red Public Commando. Holy crap. Dude, I saw you live. Uh, I saw you